Welcome to the W3 Schools CSS Image Sprites tutorial. An image sprite is a collection of images put into a single image. Since a web page with many images can take a long time to load and generates multiple requests for the server, it can be a good idea to use image sprites to reduce the number of requests and save bandwidth. For this example, we want to show three images on our page. But instead of using three separate images, we use this single image. Let's see how it works. With CSS, we can show just the part of the image we need. Here, we've specified which part of the image img navsprites.gif we want to show. Let's add the img navsprites image here so we can see what we're working with. This is the original image and we want to show only parts of it. Let's see how it works and we'll start with the home image. First we can look, take a look at the HTML. Here we have the image tag with uh, id home and this image, which is the source, is just a one by one pixel transparent image since the source attribute can't be empty. The displayed image, which is this house, is specified using a background image in CSS. First, we set the width and height of the image and then we specify the URL for the background and which position of the image we want to use. So for this image we want to start uh, at 0 pixels from the left and 0 pixels from the top and we want to use 46 pixels of width and 44 pixels of height. So now it displays the house. If we try to add another pixel for the width, you can see the line we use for separating the images. For the image with ID next, we want to start 91 pixels from the left, that's past the house, past the previous arrow, and the width is 43 pixels and the height is 44 pixels. So we end up with this arrow. Now let's add a new image showing the previous arrow. So it has the same width and height as the next arrow, but we want to start at 47 pixels, that's the width of the house plus one pixel for the line divider. So we set this to 47, and now we display the previous arrow as well. This is the easiest way to use image sprites. But now let's try to create a navigation list with images. Uh, we're going to use an unordered HTML list because list items can be links and they support background images. So let's start by creating an unordered list. And we're going to change these images into list items for home one for the previous button and one for next and we're gonna add a link since this is supposed to be a navigation list. 
one for home. One for previous and one for next. Now we just need to style it a bit differently. And you can see I've kept the original image img now sprites.gif so we can see what we're working with. Let's add an ID nav list for navigation list for our list and we are just gonna style this with position relative so we can allow absolute position elements inside it and for each list item we want to set margin 0 and adding 0 list style none to get rid of the list item markers and we want to position it absolute and zero pixels from the top so now all the list items and images will overlap but we're gonna position them individually later and let's add a style for the list item and links because all of them will be the same height is 44 pixels and will be displayed as block elements and now we can start to position and style each specific part let's start with the home image we want to position the home image zero pixels from the left that means all the way to the left and we can remove the height since we already specified this here and the width is 46 pixels and we want to use the same part of the background image as before now for the previous button uh, we can again remove the height and we want to position it 63 pixels from the left which is the width of uh, the home image plus a little extra to give it some space and we want to use the same part of the background image as before and lastly for the next button again remove the height and position it 129 pixels from the left which is the width of both these images and some extra space I want to use the same part of the background as before and now we have a navigation list But uh, I want to add a hover effect, so I'm going to use a new image sprite. I created one specifically for hover effects. Let's take a look at it. Our new image contains three navigation images like before, but three extra images for hover effects. And since this is a single image and not six separate files, there will be no lo loading delay when a user hovers over an image. So first of all, we want to start using our new image 
for all our light items. And it shouldn't make any difference for the positions we set. It works just like before. And now we just need to add a few lines of code to add the hoover effect. Let's start with home. Just gonna copy this. And we can remove left and width because we want that to be the same. But we'll add a hoover effect for the link. And for all three images, we want to use the same background image, just 45 pixels further down. That's 44 pixels for the height of the image plus an extra pixel for our line divider. So now we have a hoover effect for the home image. Let's add this for previous and next as well. So just 45 pixels further down. And again with next. Just 45 pixels further down. And now we have a navigation bar showing six different images, all from a single file. This concludes our tutorial for CSS image sprites. Thank you for watching.